All right, guys, this is Avi back again in the precious metal recovery series. Now, this is my first video on smelting gold. I'm going to give you a little introduction here. We got some gold that were was recovered from a couple of different computers. These are some mixed pins. These are some mostly gold pins. All right, I'm going to get a close up look. So that's some good gold here. This is an Intel processor. It's got about three grams of gold in the back of the CPU. This was found in one of those old converters, the cable boxes. I found it on the side of the street. I opened it up and I found this. That's some nice gold there. These are a bunch of gold pins that was recovered from about five different switches, Cisco router switches. Um, I pulled them all out and got that. So that's some good gold too. Uh, this is some nice gold. Now, I opened up a Bell router yesterday, about a five-year-old Bell router, and got it for free. I found these red things in there. This is what boosts the signal, and I looked inside and saw something gold. I was going to throw this out. I thought it was just plastic. For some reason, I opened it up. When I opened it up, I found this. Now, that's, that's some nice gold. I tested it. It tests about eight carat. There's about... Um, four of these things this was together in one and if you ever come across a bell router open it up and look for these red things there's lots of gold in there this is a gold uh, cuffling that I found on the floor I guess I'm just attracting the gold everywhere now let me just show you what we're gonna do here basically in order to do it you're gonna want to get some Vaseline and some borax Okay, you can't see it, but borax is going to help with the melting process. This is a basically a, a, an ingot mold, cast iron. Okay, and you're going to put Vaseline inside there. I already lubed it up. It's nice and ready to go. That way the metal doesn't stick. Next, you have these tongs. This is used to grab this and pour the metal that's molten into there. This is a crucible, and the crucible, I already have filled it with a bunch of IDE pins we're ready to go this is my buddy Matt what's up Matt no, how are you are you ready to start melting I'm ready. we got by the way this is not a regular propane torch this is a map gas and oxygen you can't melt um, with regular propane it won't get hot enough you're gonna have to have a setup like I have basically this cost me now 27 bucks I got two canisters the setup with the hose and everything was about 50 bucks you can get that at Canadian Tire and you gotta light the map gas first and then you're gonna introduce the oxygen always light the map gas first never turn the oxygen tank on the oxygen tank is always the red one and the map gas is always the yellow one so you add the map gas first and then open the oxygen you gotta get the hang of it. Do a Google on how to use a map torch. Now I'm gonna add some borax. As you can see, we're getting a little bit melted, which is pretty, uh, pretty intense. Uh, what I'm gonna do is add a little borax. That way, it will get rid of any impurities. You wanna do that after you start smelting. That way, any impurities in there will be see. We just lost the. Uh, so Matt is going to turn the oxygen off first, which is very important or else you're going to have a blowback when you try to relight it and then let it sit for about 30 seconds. As you can see, this is starting to, to melt. You hear that guys? That's the sound of gold. Doesn't that sound nice? Money. So this is the basic setup if you want to smelt your own gold. The gold, again, was recovered from computer pieces and routers and cable boxes. If you get routers, that's what you're going to get. So these are some nice gold pins. Uh, the computer has some mixed pins. Those are mixed pins, some silver and gold. These are mostly gold. These are from parallel ports. If you got the parallel ports, open them up, you're going to get really nice gold contacts. And watch how he turns the map gas first. And then he's going to put the gas on very slightly and then introduce the oxygen. Never do the other way around or else you'll end up in the hospital. I do recommend wearing safety glasses, but of course, as Matt is an expert, he doesn't believe in the glasses. 
as he is very confident in his eyeball skills. So watch as he very slowly introduces the oxygen. The oxygen will allow the map gas to work more efficiently creating that blue flame which is the very hot flame which can reach up to 2000 to 2500 degrees Fahrenheit and if you get it really hot it can go up to 5000 degrees Fahrenheit which can melt anything from aluminum to steel to copper to silver and gold. Okay, so here we go. So basically I'm going to let it cook for a while, that way you don't waste your time watching it happen. And then I'm going to create another video right before we're about to pour it. As you can see a little green flame coming out. That's the copper being melted out. Remember you want to put a little borax as well to make sure that any of the impurities get melted away and you're left with a more pure ingot. Alright, stay tuned for part two in smelting your own gold recovered from scrap computers and scrap electronics. Avi Oziel signing out with Matt the Smelter wearing a Blue Jays hat when he should be wearing a Toronto Maple Leafs hat as we know the Leafs have been playing really good lately. Phil Kessel and the hat trick, Reimer and all those boys are doing very well. Too bad Brian Burke ain't around to enjoy it, but that's his fault. And we don't even need Matt Sundin. He can go retire to Vancouver and win the cup while we put